The Arthur Weston Foundation was established 60 years ago by my grandfather and his children, who essentially gave 80% of their shares in the companies that he had built and created uh, to give back uh, to the society uh, in, in which his wealth had been generated. 2018 uh, marks the Foundation's 60th anniversary um, and it gives us the opportunity to celebrate many of the amazing charities who do incredible work with the Foundation's support. Teach First is an education charity that exists to close the gap between the educational outcomes of children from low-income backgrounds compared to their wealthier peers. One of the unique facets of Teach First is that it attracts people into the profession that would not have necessarily have considered teaching to be the thing that they would want to do. I um, joined Teach at First in its very first year in 2003. You could not have convinced me that teaching was a profession that I would fall in love with. Um, but Teach First, the idea of this challenge, the idea of addressing inequality in this very um, visceral, practical way, that's what I was drawn to. Garfield Weston Foundation has been crucial to, to, to Teach First over the last 15 years. It was one of our very first supporters. You know, we, we would never have been able to do it without Garfield Weston Foundation's early support. What is the MAC? Uh, you could say it's a building. Uh, you could say it's theatres or galleries or workshop spaces, but you could probably best say that it's an idea. We deeply believe in the, the, the transformative power of amazing art, and we think that Northern Ireland really, really needs a centre like the MAC. The foundation came in really, really early. It gave us, I think, maybe our first really significant amount of money. At that point, I think it was 2008, and the MAC eventually opened in 2012, was really important. It wasn't just the cash, it was the imprimatur of the foundation sort of endorsing this grand plan. Vinci University is a charity that supports students from the poorest homes to get a university place or another chosen aspiration. A lot of the students that we work with aren't aware of the opportunities that are available to them, basically. So I think we're just giving the students the potential to think about what they can do and what they want to do and sort of help them to sort of achieve whatever it is that they want to achieve. Darkwood Western Foundation has been seminal for us in growing from a small community organisation in West London now to being a national charity. The Western Library is Oxford University's major research library for special collections. We look after, preserve and make available the university's incredible collections of the original documents from all around the world which are fundamental to understanding the world that we live in. Place to Be is a school-based mental health service which supports children and teachers and parents in both primary and now secondary schools. Place to Be is a place where you, where like people go to if you're upset, sad, like lonely. Well, it's really good because they're very good people, they're well trained, they're um, very kind. Mental health has never had a higher profile, which is terrific, but what is important is that there are the professionals available to meet those needs, and Garfield Western are helping us to meet that growing need of young people and adults who need that emotional and therapeutic support. There will always be new problems to solve in society, new generations of people needing support and advice and help. You know, there will always be things that, that need addressing and hopefully the Foundation will be in a position to you know, support those next new ideas and, and help society where it needs it in the future.